so first we'll study about the basics of the nodal analysis in dc form okay because if you remember for the dc form then only you can do it for the ac right so uh, i'm telling you a little bit fast because you already studied about the nodal analysis now like suppose i'm just revising the thing this is a simple circuit in this i have taken one voltage source and one current source okay so in this case particularly we have to tell that how many nodes are present in this okay so what are nodes basically if there is a connection of more than two wires at a particular point that is known as node okay that is known as node so in this case is this a node no this is a node right we can mention it as a so we can mark it as va is this a node yes we can mark it as vb okay this node we will consider it as a ground node or a reference node so here the potential is always zero right here the potential is always zero so next step is to mark the current direction in all the different branches we can mark it according to our convenience it not fixed that like the way i mark you should also mark the same thing okay so it can be i1 it can be i2 it can be i3 it can be i4 and it can be i5 okay so for this we have to apply in kirchhoff current law at node a what does kirchhoff current law states that sum of incoming current is equal to the sum of outgoing current right this is the statement so incoming current is how much can i say that i1 is equal to i2 plus i3 the current which is entering into the node a is i1 and current which is leaving the node that is i2 plus i3 right now we have to convert it into the into the form of node uh, v by r i1 is how much as you can see that i1 is moving from 0 to va right so i am writing down 0 minus va and if in between we are having battery we have to take the second sign of the battery that is plus 12 divided by the resistance 5 right now similarly tell me the value of i2 i2 is how much yeah va minus 0 divided by 6 because it would be i1 min, uh, i is equal to v by r right v by r then in that case i3 would be equal to tell me the value of i3 i3 moving from node va to vb so we'll write down va minus vb divided by 7 right so we are having two variable two equation we can solve it in terms of va then vb and then equal to the constant term right now see as you can see that i1 is flowing from which node to which node can you tell me i1 is flowing from which node to which node it is flowing from 0 to it is flowing from 0 to va so it would be 0 minus va divided by the resistance we will see according to node to node only then similarly we have to apply kcl at node b now tell me the equation for node b hmm node b which current is entering and which current is leaving i3 is entering and i4 and i5 is leaving now tell me the value of i3 in terms of v by r i3 is moving from va to vb now so it would be va minus vb divided by 7 now tell me the value for i4 
it would be V A V B by eight because I four is moving from V B to eight. Now tell me about I five. You see, in this we need current source, and they have already given current source, right? So I five and ten ampere is in the same direction or in the opposite direction? It is in the same direction. So can we say that I five is equal to ten ampere? Right? We can say that I five is equal to ten ampere. Now we are having in this equation two variable and the two equation, right? Two variable and two equation. Can you solve it? Two equation and two. So we'll get this equation V A V B, and then we'll we can solve it easily, right?